Hey there, what is up and welcome to my channel and today's video we got a talk. Well, I have just recently seen a tweet going around where someone talks about the DCEU and the new Flashpoint move. It is the Snyderverse and that's bad. Now, Henry Cavill for me is like the perfect version of Superman. Even though the movie wasn't that great or amazing, but still, he was good. It's like, you know, there were some movies where the movies aren't good, but the actors do have an effect on you. Like, the perfect example is Ryan Reynolds and Deadpool. X-Men Origins Ubering, though the movie was bad, but he then made his own movies and that's pretty good. So Superman, on the other hand, is like one of the most popular and kid-friendly, but still, I thought Flashpoint is going to be like the DC's version of No Way Home because No Way Home did all what the fans wanted and they are doing all what the fans don't want them to do. And they have they are introduced the new Supergirl and Batwoman, which I'm not interested in. Well, to be honest, I would watch the movie just to laugh at how bad the movie is. Because I liked Superman and I like Henry Cavill as Superman. And he showed how good he is with the Superman in the Snyderverse. So instead of restoring the Snyderverse, they're raising it. And that what the fans definitely don't want. And DC, if you wanna be the new Marvel. You have to listen to the fans. Now maybe Marvel is getting woke or garbage, but still, there was a time when Marvel did what the fan wants. And even Spider-Man is a proof. In this pandemic time, Spider-Man did 1 billion, but still, all because the f this movie is for fans and fans did like the movie and the word of mouth helped this movie much more. No Way Home is not released in many countries as of yet. How much they can earn when they release in all those countries, believe me, Flashpoint is gonna fail compared i mean i'm just pretty annoyed by the tweet so that's it for this video don't mind my rant 